is America's Patriot Missile Defense System. Ballistic missiles are making a comeback in the 21st century because they give countries like China, Iran, North Korea, and Russia the ability to strike targets hundreds or thousands of miles away without having to expose vulnerable warplanes to interception. The precision allowed by modern guidance systems allows even non-nuclear missiles to deliver highly deadly attacks against air bases, fuel and ammunition depots, and even moving aircraft carriers. Therefore, the ability to intercept ballistic missiles is also growing in importance. But surface-to-air missiles, SAM, designed to shoot down aircraft, struggle to hit missiles flying many times faster and higher. And the further a ballistic missile can go, the faster and higher it must fly, and the harder it becomes to intercept. The United States has developed Spectrum Anti-Ballistic Missiles, ABMs, from the Patriot Pac-3 Missile Segment Enhancement, which can intercept tactical ballistic missiles, the high-flying THAAD, and naval SM-3 Block II missiles, which can counter short to intermediate range systems, and ground-based mid-course defense interceptors in Alaska that can tackle intercontinental range missiles. The Patriot is the U.S. Army's primary air and missile defense system. It was originally designed as an anti-aircraft system, but the newer variants of Patriot are capable of engaging ballistic and cruise missiles, loitering munitions, and aircraft. It was first developed in the early 60s to replace both the Nike Hercules and Hawk air defense missile systems. The Army named the program Surface to Air Missile Development SAMD, and the first tests occurred in 1969 and 1970. In the 1970s, the Department of Defense overhauled the SAMD to include a track via missile guidance system. The updated SAMD was renamed Patriot and entered full production in 1980. The Army activated its first Patriot missile battalion in May 1982. MIM-104 Patriot – Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target Patriot missiles are launched from Patriot missile batteries based on the ground. A typical battery has five components. One, the missiles themselves. Two, the missile launcher, which holds, transports, aims, and launches the missiles. Three, a radar antenna to detect incoming missiles. Four, an equipment truck is known as the engagement control station, housing computers and consoles to control the battery. Five, a power plant truck equipped with 250 kilowatt generators. The Patriot is a guided missile that uses ground-based radar to surveil, track, and engage targets. An incoming missile could be as far away as 50 miles, 80.5 kilometers, and the Patriot system's radar can lock onto it. At that distance, the missile would not be visible from the ground, much less identifiable. The Patriot missile has been through several significant upgrades since its initial development, including software changes in the mid-1980s, allowed the missile to engage tactical ballistic missiles known as the Patriot Pac-1. The first major missile upgrade in the late 1980s introduced the MIM-104C missile, also known as the Patriot Pac-2. In 1997, the Army deployed the Patriot Pac-3, or MM-104F missile, with an onboard radar detection and tracking system for improved capabilities against ballistic missiles. The first Pac-3 missiles used in combat were during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. More improvements have been made to the Patriot Pac-3 since its first use during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The Pac-3 MSC is an evolution of the battle-proven Pac-3 missile. The hit-to-kill Pac-3 MSC provides performance enhancements that counter evolving threat advancements. The enhancements ensure the Pac-3 missile segment of the Patriot Air Defense System is capable of engaging new and evolving threats. The hit-to-kill Pac-3 missile is the world's most advanced and capable theater air defense missile and defender against the entire threat to the Patriot Air Defense System, tactical ballistic missiles carrying weapons of mass destruction, evolving cruise missiles, and aircraft. The Pac-3 MSE design utilizes the latest technology to significantly increase performance. The Pac-3 MSC incorporates a larger, dual-pulse solid rocket motor, larger fins, and upgraded actuators and thermal batteries to accommodate increased performance. The modifications extend the missile's reach. Several successful intercept flight tests of the missiles have been conducted. 
Pack 3 continues to build upon our rich history of reliable and innovative missile defense while also demonstrating our compatibility with one of the U.S. Army's foremost modernization priorities to stay ahead of advanced threats," said Brenda Davidson, vice president of Pac-3 programs at Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. The Launching Station The launching stations are remotely operated self-contained units. The engagement control station of the launchers through each launcher's data link terminal via fiber optic or single channel ground and airborne radio system data link. Integral leveling equipment permits emplacement on slopes of up to 10 degrees. Each launcher is trainable in azimuth and elevates to a fixed elevated launch position. Precise aiming of the launcher before launch is not necessary, thus no extra lags are introduced into the system reaction time. The new M903 launching system has a modular design capable of holding a total of four Pac-3 launching canisters, 16 missiles, 12 Pac-3 MSE canisters in three rows of four, or four Pac-2 guided enhanced missiles canisters. Integrating Patriot with THAAD The Missile Defense Agency, in partnership with the U.S. Army Program Executive Office Missiles in Space, U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command, and Ballistic Missile Defense System Operational Test Agency successfully conducted a flight test today of the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD Weapon System. The test, designated Flight Test THAAD Weapon System FTT-21, was conducted at the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. Preliminary results indicate that flight test objectives were achieved by the THAAD Weapon System which fired two Pac-3 missile segment enhanced interceptors that intercepted a Black Dagger target. The success of today's flight test marks a critical milestone for the integration of the THAAD and Patriot weapon systems, said Missile Defense Agency Director Vice Admiral John Hill. The integration of the Pac-3 MSC interceptor into the THAAD weapon system provides the combatant commands and soldiers on the ground the capability to use the right missile for the right threat at the right time. FTT-21 is the first live intercept flight test of a software build that provides the capability for the THAAD weapon system to compute Pac-3 MSE firing solutions, communicate with an M903 Patriot launching station, and simultaneously control multiple Pac-3 MSE interceptors in flight. The integration of the Pac-3 MSE interceptor into the THAAD weapon system enables the warfighter to launch the Pac-3 MSE interceptor earlier enabling a longer flyout time, which in turn increases the defended area or battle space. This new capability is directly applicable to addressing current threat environments with an enhanced layered defense. Air Defenders test newest Patriot missile upgrades. 65 soldiers and 135 government civilians started a year-long test on the latest Patriot missile system upgrade. This upgrade is the newest one since 2018. Starting in early June 2022, the U.S. Army Operational Test Command's Air and Missile Defense Test Directorate worked alongside soldiers from 3rd Battalion, 6th Air Defense Artillery Test Detachment, 30th Air Defense Artillery Brigade, and multiple government agencies to test the system update to ensure it's ready for soldiers. In addition to software and hardware upgrades, the Patriot system is also getting a more user-friendly interface, allowing soldiers to be trained faster. I think it's a lot more beneficial for incoming soldiers that are newer to the branch, said Sergeant Angel Quinones. I think it's a lot more beneficial for incoming soldiers that are newer to the branch, said Sergeant Angel Quinones, a 3-6 Patriot Fire Control Enhanced Operator Maintainer Soldier and Florida native. It's a lot easier to pick up. It'd be super easy to train with it as well. Instead of like us training them how to memorize a full database, we just need to know keywords now.